Um, I, think, I think it would be very damaging for sofa people. And in fact, I wrote my last column, I think, in the advertiser um, on the bedroom tax. Um, and I, I think it will particularly affect places like ours uh, because what, what the bedroom tax is basically saying is that if you live um, in a house where you get housing benefit and you're not a pensioner, so it doesn't affect pensioners, but if you're of working age um, and you get housing benefit, then if you've got what they call a spare room, um, then your housing benefit will be reduced, I think, by £15 a week. If you've got two spare rooms, £27 a week. Um, so you're going to have to find that money if you want to stay in, in your current property. Now, many people will have been in the current properties for, I don't know, 20, 25 years, might be where they brought the children up. Um, so they, they've got a choice. They can either find the extra £15 a week, if they can, and many of them will be on pretty low pay and unable to do it, or they can move into a smaller property. Now, that might be feasible if we had a lot of one-bedroom flats in Salford. We have got hardly any um, one-bedroom flats other than the tower blocks, um, and even many of those are now um, taken because there's, I think, a 15,000 waiting list for um, social housing in the city. Um, so people don't really have a choice either to, to downsize into a one-bedroom flat, and that's happening all over the country. The other issue why I think it's particularly bad is that... You know, if, if I think of a, an older married couple, perhaps in their 50s, early, early 60s, um, you know, they might, they might not be classed as disabled, they might not have a serious disability, but very often people might have trouble sleeping or they've, they've got, you know, um, difficulties in terms of, of how they get cared for. And actually what this is saying is that you have to live in a one-bedroom property. So if you want your grandchildren to come and stay, um, if you're a separated couple and you've got um, a residence order on your children, your children can't come and stay unless you're able to find that extra money. And if you're already on housing benefit, that means by very definition, you haven't got a lot of money. So I think it's actually very divisive. Um, and I think it's not going to save a huge amount of money. I do think that we need to reform welfare and have some strong views about that. But this particular thing, I think, is quite punitive and quite cruel. And already I'm getting lots and lots of people come to my surgery who are saying to me, Hazel, I can't find the £15 a week. I don't want to move. All my friends and family are in the area. They're my support network. Um, City West or Salix can't offer me a one-bedroom flat or a bungalow because they haven't got any. Um, so they're between a rock and a hard place. And, and I actually think it's, it's kind of mean, nasty um, policy and it would be very bad for people in Salford.